Hey what's up guys welcome to Fine Gap and in today's video I'm going to teach you how you can use SAS in your ReactJS application. So in this video first of all we will add SAS in our ReactJS and then I will tell you the method how you can create .scss files and use them in your application. For demo let me show you what we have done in this video. So I have styled my this h1 element using the style that I have written in my app.scss and the index.scss which is the main css file for our react.js project so friends video is going to be more important and before starting the video i would like to request you to subscribe to our channel without any delay let's start first of all you can see that i have a basic react.js project now you need to open your terminal to open the terminal you can click on these three dots or maybe you will see this terminal option at this position so click on terminal and you will see this option new terminal just click on it or you can use this control shift and this backtick to open your terminal if you can see here the terminal is opened so first of all using npm we need to add sas to our react project you need to type this command npm install sas press enter so you can see that the source is added to our project to check this in your dependencies you can open the package.json inside the dependencies section you can see that the source has been successfully added to our project now let me tell you how you can use that so first of all i will close this file so let's suppose inside our source folder i am going to create a new file app.scss and now i will open app.js in the place of app.css i will type here app.scss again i will open the app.css so first of all let me remove this model and here i am going to place a heading my sas component so let me copy this class which is dot app inside this we have an h1 element so i am going to type background color orange so now i will run my application so we can see the output to run your application inside your terminal you need to type npm start and press enter after running this command you will see that your application will be executed in your browser like you can see on my browser my sas component and similarly if you want also want to modify your index.css what you can do uh, let me delete this index.css and i am going to create a new file which is index.scss and now inside our index.css uh, not JSS but JS we need to remove this import which is index.css so I will type here index.css so inside our index.scss file let me type here body background color and for example I am choosing this color so now you can see that the background color is also updated successfully now le let me go back again and here I'm going to create a variable like primary hyphen color uh, 0 0 0 which is a color code for black and I'm going to type here primary color and color would be white so you can see that the background color and the color of our text is also updated so friends I hope that this video will be helpful for you if you have any question you can ask us in the comment section we will try to answer your question and please subscribe to our YouTube channel for our regular videos and finally, thanks for watching.